A famous French thinker named Voltaire once said, it is dangerous to be right when government is wrong. Now what we have is Azar Ahmed, and he said, all soldiers should die and go to hell. There's been a whole lot of anger about that, a whole lot of threats of violence against him. More on that in a second. But it's dangerous for Azhar Ahmed to be right because government is wrong. What is he right about? Is he right that all soldiers should die and go to hell? Not necessarily. But one of the things soldiers are said to be fighting for is liberty. One aspect of liberty are certain freedoms we all agree on. For example, the freedom to speak. This is happening over in the UK, the United Kingdom, Britain, whatnot. But we have the same problem here in the United States. Someone will speak against the military, and then the mindless psychopaths who insist that you shouldn't criticize the military, they say, how dare you criticize them? They're over there fighting for your freedoms, including your right to speak. But you should just shut up. Meaning, if we took their advice, those people are fighting for nothing when it comes to liberty in respect to the freedom to speak against them. You have the freedom to obey the idea that they are heroes. You don't have the freedom to speak. Of course, you do have the freedom to speak, but then you'll have what Ahmed Az, or Azar Ahmed had which is a whole lot of people standing outside of his house waiting for him. Why were they waiting for him? Probably to hurt him, at least to threaten him and make him feel unsafe. A whole lot of people giving him calls in the, the television, or actually the, the news report, that they were giving offensive phone calls. He was inundated with offensive phone calls. You know damn well he was inundated with death threats and threats in general. Offensive phone calls, the cowards won't even explain, they won't even say what's actually going on. Now as to the people who showed up at Azhar Ahmed's house, they showed up to the wrong Azhar Ahmed, much like when Spike Lee, the little clown coward, sent a bunch of people over to a George Zimmerman, but it was the wrong Zimmerman during the Trayvon Martin situation. Psychopathic little clown coward Spike Lee sent mindless people off on a witch hunt against anyone with the same letters in their name. And that's what the mindless people who insist that you just obediently believe that you shouldn't criticize the military, the hired killers, that's their job, but you can't criticize it. Well, you can criticize it, but don't use strong language. Don't use offensive language. Don't use, as it was said, unacceptable, upsetting language. See, after this person was found guilty of the crime of offending the family members of these dead soldiers, he's going to be sentenced soon. He, he said in a, in a retraction, taking it back, he said something, something, something. That's when I realized it was unacceptable for them to see something so upsetting. Talking about the family, seeing something so upsetting as him saying all soldiers should die and go to hell. Now imagine this. He posted those, according to the news article, two days after six of these people had died, and some of their family and friends are the ones who saw the note. Guess what happened? Some soldiers died, and two days later their family and friends were on Facebook, or else were on the internet, trolling around for things that would offend them. That's how they spend their time while they're in mourning not respectable. And worse, the news story, when it printed that retraction, it didn't say he said, uh, that's when I realized it was unacceptable what I did. Now that he's in court custody, getting in trouble for it, he said, well, okay, you psychopath, I realize it's not nice for me to say things you don't want to hear. We obviously don't have freedom here, so what are they fighting for? What are they killing people for? What did those six people die for? They didn't just say he said that, he admitted, it says, Ahmed admitted that that's when I realized, da, 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 da. 
He admitted it. See, we all know it's true. He shouldn't have said that. Unacceptable to say something so upsetting. Again, it's dangerous to be right when government is wrong or the people who government hires or forces the military to go off and kill and die. And then those people who are chauvinistic, chauvinism, biased, devotion to any cause, group, or idea, the chauvinistic family members saying, my person that I care about, you shouldn't criticize them. They're heroes. For what? You don't know who they killed. You don't know who killed them. You don't know why. Obviously had nothing to do with liberty, at least not the freedom for Azhar Ahmed to speak against that. Offensive calls. Some of the people, it was reported, who were there protesting Ahmed, or, yeah, Ahmed, were from the EDL, the English Defense League, I think it's called, anti-Islamic stuff. It's fine. They can be anti-Islamic. They can be nationalists. I'm not against that. It doesn't matter what I'm against. It's not unreasonable. You could reason it out, be anti-Islam. Now let's talk about Islam. You know how people will mock, churlishly mock, the stupid Islamic people for being so mad about the, uh, what was the most recent thing? It happens all the time. They were mad about that movie. Saw the movie, the YouTube movie where it shows uh, the Prophet Muhammad, their Prophet. I want to talk about calling it the Prophet as if we all believe that nonsense. So someone mocked their Prophet and then there's protests somewhere and they're destroying property and whatnot. So somebody gets a picture, and of course all the captions come of all the smug Westerners saying, hey, we're a religion of peace. Believe us or we'll destroy your stuff. It sounds cute. Oh, they say they're peaceful, yet they're doing this. Let's apply that same line of logic to the people who now want to hold this person who speaks against the war, speaks against the warriors, the mindless killers. Hey, we are fighting for your right to be free. Now shut up and don't speak freely, or we'll show up to your house, not even your house, someone with the same letters in their name. We'll call and threaten you with death if you dare to say that the people weren't fighting for your freedom, that they weren't fighting a noble cause. How dare you? We'll kill you. You sound just as stupid as those Muslims who are protesting, saying, hey, how dare you offend us? We're a religion of peace. We're doing all this. It's the exact same thing. When you coward, mindless defenders of the mindless murderers want to go on a rampage, want to check your Facebooks and say, how dare they call into question the integrity of our sons, in this case sons, when we don't know who they were killing or why. We don't know who killed them or why. I think that's it. It's dangerous to be right when government is wrong. It's dangerous to speak against war when the supposed victims are the people who encouraged the mindless murderers. You can see the picture of these six guys. They don't look like normal people. They look like people who were encouraged to be murderers, but were told it's heroic. That's fine. You can go down in flames, every culture who heroifies the necessity of murderers. At least you say, well, it's a necessity. We're not going to heroify you, but sometimes you've got to do what you got to do. No, they're heroes. How dare you say they should die and go to hell? They should kill and their enemies should go to hell? Again, to me, it's just a bunch of monkeys wearing pants pretending to have culture. All you have is chauvinism, biased devotion to any cause, group, or idea. And any, what is his name? Any Azhar Ahmeds to get in the way calling into question the purity, the divine right of your war or your warriors, yeah, surround their house, or at least somebody who spells their name the same way, Spike Lee style. You are all cowards, those to whom this applies.